If you want to define your legs, abs, and glutes, you are in the right place. This hypertrophy session today is going to help you do just that. We are training with moderately heavy to heavy dumbbells, so get those and let's do this. Just a few things to mention before we get into our workout today, you will see that I have got my box out here and also my mini resistance band. So if you have your mini resistance band or booty band, we will use that in tricep number four. That's gonna be for our hip thrust, glute bridges, and then abduction. If you don't have it, no worries. You'll do those exercises without it. Still get the awesome burn. And with the box, if you have that, we're gonna use that today. Um, if you don't have it, you can use a chair, you can use a couch, a bed, something sturdy. But if you don't have that at all, you don't wanna use your box, I'm gonna give you modifications on screen as well to follow without the box. And then if lunges bother your knees, when we get up to those today, I will have modifications for you as well. So this workout can really be tailored to you. So as we get through this, just listen to your body and do what you need to. Weight today, we're gonna to be lifting moderately heavy to heavy. So really challenge yourself with the weight. Now we are gonna go through our triceps three times through. So you do have some chances to adjust your weight as we go. Now with these triceps, no rest in between those exercises, just enough to switch and get into it. So things are going to move quick today. If you need to take longer breaks, do that. But we'll talk about this workout as we go through our warm up. So let's go ahead and just get into our warm up. We're gonna start with arms out. We're gonna bring those heels to the bum as we pull our arms back. So three, two, and one, here we go. Bring it back. So think about bringing those shoulder blades around your spine. We wanna get the arms warmed up a little bit as well because we are gonna be lifting those heavy weights. So we gotta make sure everything is ready for today. Now, one of our longer workouts that we have, but this is gonna be such an effective workout. It's going to be tough, but I'm telling you what, this one is gonna feel so good by the end. We're gonna go into a squat next in three, two, and one. Here we go, taking it down and up. Nice tempo, work at your own pace throughout our warm up today. And that goes for the workout as well. So you can keep tempo with me. Try not to go too much quicker though than me during our exercises because we are gonna be lifting that moderately heavy weight. We have to take a nice slow tempo to get or to work with that heavier weight to keep form. Stagger good morning is gonna be next. Let's just do three more squats. Here's three, two, and one. Stagger good morning. So one leg is gonna come out. One leg stays back, hand on our hips. Drive the bum back and up, squeeze and up. Back flat core engage. We're gonna switch it over to that other side. In three, two, and a one, switch it over. Here we go. Drop it down and up. Now for today's workout, each exercise we're gonna work for 45 seconds. That'll be three exercises back to back to back. Then we'll get 30 seconds of rest. We have a total of five triceps that we're gonna repeat three times, four triceps that are gonna work the lower body, and then one triceps to hit the abs. So a total of 15 triceps. Last one here, then we're gonna take it out, legs out, toes out. We're just gonna drop it down here, just dropping one shoulder in and then the other. Now, before we get into each triceps, I'll give you an overview of the exercises that you can expect. So you'll know, you'll see those three on screen. So we can just move quickly into that next exercise. Last one here. All right, we're gonna get started. We're gonna go into a squat with dumbbells at shoulder, then a sumo squat with dumbbells at legs. Finally, a narrow goblet squat. So grab your weights, we got 45 seconds to work. And again, moderately heavy to heavy for your weight. Squatting it up here, five seconds out, weights are up, good form, head up, chest up, and let's squat. Now when you come up for that squat, think about squeezing the glutes. You don't wanna lock out your legs, but tighten up the legs, tighten up the glutes. Good. And again, you can work at your own tempo. Just try not to go too quick with this heavy weight. We want to make sure we're keeping that good form. We're getting there. That sumo squat's going to be next. We're going to adjust the position of our dumbbells. And then we'll get right into that sumo squat. Counting it down. Three, two, and a one. All right, legs out, toes out, dumbbells here at the legs. 45, here we go, squat it out. 
Weight stays in the heels. As you squeeze up, think about bringing those inner thighs together. <sighs> Narrow goblet squat is gonna be next. We're running right about that 15 second mark now, so we're almost there. A couple more solid reps. All the way down, all the way up. Here we are, three, two, and one. So narrow goblet squat, feet almost together. Dumbbells, or sorry, one dumbbell because it's goblet. And let's squat. Weight stays in the heel. Now with this more narrow stance, we're gonna work the quads a little bit more. That's the top of your legs. You can see this continuous work of the lower body. Gonna get your heart rate up a little bit. Working those big muscle groups today. You're so close. We're gonna get 30 seconds to rest. Then we repeat this tw tricep twice more through. Here's three, two, and one. 30 seconds. Same thing. Now, we're gonna work through those three exercises again. Take into account here, how you doing with your weight? If you can go up, I'm gonna challenge you to go up. Now you'll know if you can go up by the last 10, 15 seconds, if you were like, I could keep going. We want it to be tough that entire time, but those last few seconds, super challenging to get through. All right, grabbing our weights. Back on, squat, dumbbells at shoulders. Going in three, two, and one. Now make sure when you've got your dumbbells at the shoulders that you're using your shoulders here for a little bit of extra support. You don't need the, the dumbbells resting in your hands and your wrists turning out. So pop the weights up on the shoulders a little bit here. And that'll take that weight and that strain out of your wrist. Whew. Almost there. Sumo squat next. All right, last one, three, two, and one. Legs out, toes out, and here we go. 45 on, down, and squeeze. Really think about bringing those inner thighs together. Think about zippering up right here through the center. That's gonna activate those thighs even more. Help you work deeper into those muscles. Over halfway. And then that final exercise, that narrow goblet squat. Here it is. Three, two, and one. One dumbbell here. Narrow, bring those legs in. Dumbbell at that chest, 45, here we go. Remember, you don't wanna lock out your knees, but think about tightening up those legs and the glutes as you come up, right here, squeeze, soft knee though. And with this goblet position of your weight, don't let your chest fall forward, shoulders round. Make sure you're keeping that good posture. Back from that spine, nice straight line as you come down. So think about sitting down here in a chair. <sighs> Elbows tucked in, almost there. Three, two, one. All right, good. One more time through that tricep. You got it down now, you know what to expect. This is gonna be it for that tricep. So again, Weight, up or down, whatever you need. We've got 15 seconds left here to breathe and rest. <sighs> All right, let's get ready to go again. Now remember, with the weights here, bring them up on the shoulders. Hands just kind of support them a little bit. Three seconds, 
squatting it out. Here we go, 45 on. Keeping that chest up, breathing. Exhale as you push that floor away. Think about it right here, push through the heels. Halfway. You got it today. I know leg day is always a tough one, but if you think about the benefits that come along with leg day, so many benefits. It's gonna be so helpful to have strong legs. Last three, two, and one. Out into that sumo position, legs out wide, shoulders rolled down and back. Back. I don't know where my accent just came from. Here we go. Down and squeeze. Ooh. Remember, zipper up here through those inner thighs. Squeeze, pull them together. There you go. Ooh. All right. Almost through this one. Then finally, that narrow goblet squat. And then so, tricep one is done. Three, two, oh, one. All right, one dumbbell. Goblet, hold here, elbows tucked in, narrow, and let's go. 45 on. The legs, you can feel the quads so much in this one. Over halfway. Oh, that 30 seconds is gonna feel awesome. Three, two, one, you did it. All right, next exercise. This is where the final exercise in this tricep is where you've got, if you've got your boxer chair, grab that. I'm just gonna have it off to the side. We're gonna do a single leg seated calf raise. So just have that nearby. If not, you will do that standing and you'll see that modification. But we've got a single leg Romanian deadlift, reverse lunge, all on the same side, and then that single leg calf raise. So grab your weights for that single leg RDL, dumbbell in that opposite hand for that leg that's gonna be stationary, and here we go. You also have the option here to do a kickstand RDL where that toe is gonna stay back. If not, bring it down and pull. So we are really gonna burn out the right side in this. And then we'll switch, or whichever side you're starting with, whether you're starting with right or left. But stay on the same side for all three of these triceps, this second tricep through. Keeping those hips square. So we're gonna go right into a reverse lunge. Now with that reverse lunge, whatever leg is forward here, that leg is gonna stay stationary for that reverse lunge. Three, two, one. All right, right into that reverse lunge, take it down. And for this tricep and our third tricep set, only gonna use one dumbbell. So we're gonna work all one side, then switch it up. But three sets on one side and then three sets on the other. Back flat with this lunge. I'm doing a little bit of a hinge forward, if, if you can tell here, to work the glutes more. So if you take a slight hinge here at the hips while keeping that back flat, you're gonna work to isolate those glutes a little bit more. All right, so we're gonna take a seated position next for that seated calf raise. Three, two, one. All right, same side, just the calf raise now. So dumbbell on that side. Here we go, lift and lower, lift and lower. Make sure you're holding that at the top. Feel that contraction before you release it. 
So don't, this is one that I want you to think of going so slow on. Really feel it, squeeze it, and down. Make that mind-muscle connection right here. And then release. All right, we're gonna get 30 seconds to rest. We're almost there. Here's three, two, and one. All right, going again. Stay on that same side. Single leg Romanian deadlift or that kickstand Romanian deadlift. Then reverse lunge to seated single leg calf raise. We've got 10 seconds and we go with this Romanian deadlift. Take it slow. Keep your hips square. Going here in five, three, two, back at it. Here we go. Don't rush through this. Nice and slow. Keep that weight close to your body. Back is staying flat. Really think about tightening and contracting that hamstring to help pull yourself up here. When we train together, I wanna to remind you, make that mind-muscle connection. That is gonna help you get so much more out of every rep. We don't show up just to go through the motions. We show up to get strong. And there are certain things that we gotta to do to get there. And I wanna remind you of those. I need the reminder. So we're working on this together. Last one. All right, reverse lunge. Here we go, same side, same leg forward. Here we go, drop it down and up. How much are you loving this tricep? <laughs> okay, this one is a doozy. Oh. Oh. Try to keep that consistent lower with your lunge. Again, you can take a little bit of a hinge here at the hips, not, a, not rounding the back, but a hinge at the hips to work those glutes a little bit more. Seated single leg calf raise next. Again, if you're doing that standing, keep it very light on that other side, just there for balance. Ooh, getting ready to switch it up. Three, two, one. All right, get your box, have a seat, and lift that leg. Squeeze, hold it at the top, contract it. Come back down. Squeeze. Good posture here, sitting up nice and tall. One more time after this for this side, and then we'll switch it up. Whew. Really hold it. Don't give up on it. Hold it, feel it, then let it go. Then come right back up. All right, let's hold it. Three, two, and one. Ah, down. 30 seconds. Enjoy this seated, <laughs> this little seat here if you want for a minute. We've got 20 seconds. Last time through, we are burning out the hams, the quads, the glutes, the calves on this one. <laughs> and then we're gonna switch it up and do it on the other side. Everything's gotta be even around here. Whew, all right, going again. Even Stella looks concerned about this workout. She's like, whoa, people. All right, single leg RDL, let's do it. Last time for this, so keep it strong. First rep in, you feel it, right? <laughs> well, when it's the third time through, oh. <sighs> I can't stop smiling because I'm so excited we're doing this together. I really, I love a good leg day, even though I know how hard it's gonna be. So the fact that you're here, we're doing it together. Oh, it makes me so happy. Because I know we're going to be enjoying the stairs together tomorrow and the next day. Oh, but getting strong is awesome. We know that. All right. Last one. Then right into that lunge. Oh, here it is. Three, two, oh, one. Into that lunge. Let's do it. Last time for this. So get excited.
as those muscles start to fatigue, you can feel your balance starts to get a little bit more wobbly. Even those stabilizer muscles are like, whoa, we're feeling this. Over halfway with this lunge though. Seated single leg calf raise to finish. Almost there. Last three, two, one. All right, seated position. And let's go. Really hold it at the top, even if you can hold up for five seconds or five counts and down, and then back up, squeeze, hold it, and down. This is one of those where I like to say, you wanna overstay your welcome in this. So really just hold it up, squeeze, and down. Sometimes I think the calf muscles kinda just get pushed to the wayside when they shouldn't, because they're a huge part of our everyday life. Stairs, walking, there's so many things. Reaching up for something on your tiptoes. So getting them strong is good and it's gonna help give you that more defined leg as well. All right, hold it with me. Cause this is three, two, and one. Oh, we did it. All right, so I don't really think I need to explain tricep three because it's the same just on the other side. So if you were just working on the left, you're gonna be working on the right. If you were on the right, you're gonna be working on the left. Same three exercises, single leg RDL. We've got the reverse lunge and then this single leg half raise, whether you're going to do that with those modifications I've offered, up to you. But dumbbell in that opposite hand now, and here we go. Keep those hips square nice and slow. Take your time and pull up. Again, you have the option for that kickstand. Now, if you were doing a single leg on the other side, I would encourage you to keep the same. I wouldn't go from kickstand to single leg unless you're really struggling with balance. Sometimes our balance can be off on either side. That's okay. But try to work yourself up to the same on both sides because you do want to try to keep things even. But that's why I love unilateral training because it really does show you if you've got any muscular imbalances and then we can work on that. This is considered unilateral training, working the right and then the left. So I just, I love that. Last three, two, and one. All right, reverse lunges. Keep that same leg forward. Here we go. Again, you can get a little hinge here to work those glutes. Back stays flat though. So, all the way down that spine, nice straight line. Almost there. Single leg calf raise next, seated or standing. Here it is, three, two, one. Grabbing that box, all right. Here we go, remember, overstay your welcome here at the top. So hold it, squeeze, and then let it go and come right back up. This is, I like to close my eyes when I do these. There's certain exercises because I really, it helps me think about that muscle. And when you think about it, really and truly, you can get a deeper contraction and that's gonna help you hit all those muscle fibers. But so I'm like, if we show up, let's do it to it. Let's do it right. Let's get it all in. Your time is so valuable. Where you were working, we're gonna make it count. Almost there, 30 seconds. You know how lovely that is. All right, hold it up with me. Three, two, and one. All right, two more rounds of that. Breathing here. All right, so we're gonna do that single leg RDL. Shoulders rolled down and back. Let's get into position. Remember, keep that weight nice and close to your center of gravity. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Keep those 
those hips square. Take your time with this one. Almost there, a couple more reps, because we're close. Going into that lunge, this is gonna be it. Three, two, and one. Right into the lunge. Here we go. Ooh. Legs are working good today, aren't they? This is one of those reminders for me how awesome our body actually is when you can do something like this. So I know there's always room to be like, oh, this is so hard. Yeah, it is, but you're also amazing for being here, for showing up and the fact that you can do this. So I always try to uplift that one a little bit more and we're doing it. Last three, two, and one. Okay, seated calf raise. Here we go. Bring it up and hold it. Remember, hold it, squeeze it, feel it, and then let it down, and then right back up. Whew. Over halfway, and then, only one more round through this tricep. And then one more tricep for lower body before we move on to abs. So we got all sorts of goodies coming up. I mean, we are getting there. We are getting close. All right, let's hold it up for the last three, two, and one. All right, 30 seconds. Final time through. This is gonna be the shakiest time through for sure too. All right, let's get up, let's get ready. 15 seconds out. I'm sure you know what's next. Single leg, RDL. Five seconds out. All right, here's three, two, and one. Quality of reps over quantity, so just take the time here. Don't rush through this, even though this is our last set, just make them the best you've got right now. <laughs> We're doing it. I'm so excited. We've made it through this tough round, these tough two rounds here for our tricep. Okay, last three, two, and one. Reverse lunges. Here we go. Take it down and up. Slight hinge at the hips. All right, best news, we are halfway through this tricep. So close. Couple more reps, seated single leg calf raise next. Last three, two, one. Grabbing that chair, your box, and let's do it. Lift it up, squeeze, and lower. Breathing. All right, I'm gonna talk a little bit about this tricep four 
because when it comes up, things are gonna move quick and we're gonna kind of have to be ready to go. So with we're gonna use our box that entire time. Now, if you don't have a box, you're gonna see the modifications on screen. For you, without that box, sumo glute bridge, regular glute bridge right into abduction. Now, option to use the band for that entire tricep. If you are, well, I'll tell you the exercises because we're almost through this one and then we'll talk exercises for tricep four. Last three, two, and one. All right, exercises for tricep four. Hip thrust, which means we're gonna put our shoulders on our box, your chair, your couch, your bed. Then we're gonna do a feet elevated glute bridge. Finally, abduction with those feet elevated. So again, you have the option to keep the band on the whole time. Band is always optional though. For our hip thrust, you can use one or two dumbbells. I'm gonna use one, I like to use one for hip thrust. So if you're gonna use that band right above the knees, and we're getting ready to go into it. So bringing it down, dumbbell on those hips, going in three, two, and one. Drop it down, and then squeeze. Keeping pressure on that band, drop your bum, and squeeze. So hold it at the top for a second, keep the weight in the heels. Ooh. Tighten up those glutes. We're gonna get ready to switch it over onto our back on the floor with feet elevated. Last three, two, and a one. All right, carefully getting that weight out of the way, bringing it down onto your back. Feet elevated, heels on that box, right into your glute bridge, going here in three, two, and a one. Lift and squeeze. Now this elevated glute bridge, gives you a much greater range of motion. You will see right away. <gasps> Lifting it up and down. Good. Take your time, hold it, get that squeeze at the top. So from here, we're gonna go into an abduction. You can always take the weight off. I'm gonna remove the weight and just focus on pressing those knees out, just pulsing those knees out. Really gonna burn out the glutes with this tricep. <gasps> Okay, here it is, last one. We've got three, two, and one. So dumbbell off, keeping it up, and press, press. Still keeping the weight in the heels, hips lifted, pressing out with that band. Now without that band, you can still feel it, just a little move out, just tighten up the glutes. Almost there. Here it is. Three, two, and one. Whew. All right, you can tuck it in. We're gonna get ready to do that again. So hip thrust first. Stella even had to come over and see what all this action was about. She was like, dang, this is a tough one today. Yes, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> all right, let's get ready for hip thrust. So one or two dumbbells up on the hips. We're gonna roll it back. All right, going here in three, two, and one. We drop it down, we squeeze it up. Down. Good, and drive those hips up towards the ceiling, tightening up the glutes. <sighs> Elevated glute bridge next, almost there. Last one, three, two, and a one. Ooh, carefully let that weight come down. Bring yourself up into that elevated glute bridge, rolling it onto your back. And here we go. Lift and squeeze. 
and down. Squeeze it up. Take your time. Just try not to hold it too long at the bottom. Just keep moving, get that squeeze in, and then down. Abduction next. We're almost there. All right, here it is. Last three, two, and one. Whew. Dumbbell is out of here. We're gonna bring it up, keeping the weight in the heels, and press it out. Keep those hips up. Over halfway. And then just one more try set of this. Whew, that'll be great. Because this is burning out the glutes big time. Built, whew, really building this up here. Last three, two, one. Whew. All right, one final set of that. So let's bring it up back to that hip thrust. Ooh, grabbing that dumbbell on the hips. Getting ready to roll it back. All right, last lower body tricep before moving on to our abs and core. Bringing it down. And 45, here we go. Down and squeeze. Remember, keep pressure on that band. Don't let it drop your knees towards the center. And squeeze. We're going to get ready for that feet elevated glute bridge. Last three, two, and one. Ooh, setting that weight down off to the side, bringing it over. Whew. All right, right up into it, adding that weight, and let's go for it, 45 on. Exhale as you lift and squeeze. Abduction to finish out. That's going to be next. Last one. Let's hold it up for three, two, and a one. All right, weight is out. Final exercise, abduction. Here we go. Take it out. Breathing. Oh, we're halfway. Remember, this is it for lower body. We're all about abs to finish. Oh, here's that countdown. Three, two, and one. Oh, all right, band is off. Box, we are done with. We are gonna go into a side plank hip drop. Now you have the option to keep your bottom knee down, just like this, lift and lower. Or you can do that side plank with both legs out. We're gonna work one side and then the other, and then we're gonna do a crunch hold with our feet tapping in and out. So 45 seconds on the clock for this. Here we go. Lift 
and lower. Squeeze. Control it up, control it down. Oh, this one is so good for your obliques. Almost there, and then we're gonna switch it right over to that other side. Almost there. Last three, two, and one. Right over to the other side, rolling it over, legs out, and here we go. Lift and lower. Drive that hip up, squeeze. You're close now. We've got one exercise left. Last three, two, one. Rolling it over here. We're gonna hold this crunch position and then we're gonna tap the heels in and out. So holding it up, you can beat back on your forearms, tap it in and out. So out for two. In for two. But holding this upper body nice and strong. Think about squeezing belly button to spine here. Almost there. Last three, two, and one. Ooh. You can roll it back, you can tuck it in. We're gonna go through that again. Side plank to hip drop. Ooh. All right, breathing. All right, 10 seconds and we go. Same thing, you can keep that bottom knee down. Going in three, two, and a one. Here we go. Squeeze and breathe. Now if you've got that bottom leg down, really think about holding it up here at the top, squeezing, you'll feel that squeeze in the glutes. We're gonna switch it over to the other side next. Three, two, one, other side. Right away to that other side, legs out, bottom knee down if you need, and here we go. Halfway mark. Ooh. We're gonna flip it over next into that hold with heel taps. Ooh. Last three, two, one. Rolling it over onto those forearms here. Taking it back. Legs out for two, in for two. Here we go. Now, even with this support from your forearms, 
keep that core nice and solid. So think about squeezing belly button into spine. You can even feel the legs working a little bit on this one. Almost there. And then one final time through this. Last three, two, and one. Okay, back to side lying plank with hip drop. 20 seconds out, this is it. So 45 seconds of work, three exercises, and you have made it through this wildly tough leg and ab day. You are the bomb, by the way, because this is, this has been a tough day, but we're stronger because of it. All right, here we go, side plank. Let's take it up, up, and let that hip come down. Keep that body long and strong. Think about making yourself into a plank, just like it sounds. And make sure shoulder and elbow here are in line. So if you find that your arm is coming too far out or too close, you can find some discomfort in your shoulder or even in that elbow. So think about making that nice straight line even right here. Really squeeze here at the top, almost there. Last three, two, other side, right over to that other side, bring it down, and 45, Whew, here it is. Squeeze and exhale at the top. Think about a string right here on your hip, and as you drive that hip up, that string is pulling you right towards the ceiling. We're gonna flip it over next into that crunch hold with heel taps. Last three, two, one. Flip it over right onto your back here. Or actually onto your forearms, not onto your back. So onto those forearms and we're gonna tap it in and out. Here we go. Remember tightening up those abs here, walking it in and out. Almost there, this is gonna be it. Last three, two, and a one. Oh, wow. You are amazing. That was such a tough triceps day today, but I'm telling you what, this type of training is really gonna help you increase that definition in your lower body and in your abs. And I'm so glad that we could do it together. If, well, not if, because after every workout, you always need some dessert. I have a hip mobility stretch that is going to go so well with this training, especially after today and the work that we did. If you want to help decrease that muscle soreness while increasing your flexibility, check that stretch out. You do not want to miss it. I am telling you after this, it's going to feel so good. That is the dessert. I'm going to go get it myself. So actually, I'll see you over there. Hip mobility, you are the bomb. I love you.